everybody, it is Al and Baby, and we are back for another bump date. Alright, so this bump date, I'm going to be telling you guys all about my experience weeks 31 and 32. So week 31, everything was going by, chugging along just as normal, um, still having that tailbone pain that I've been using that China gel for, which I think I mentioned in a previous video. So I've still been using that China gel, it's still been working really well for us, um, but yeah, definitely still having the tailbone pain. And unfortunately, I was like doing great, chugging along week 31, and then out of the blue, I woke up one afternoon after a night shift, hadn't done anything like strenuous or anything the night before, and I just woke up with this terrible pelvic pain, and it was in the front this time, it was not in the back. And uh, I looked it up, but I guess it's called like the symphysis pubis pain, which I don't know if I've mentioned on a video before. I've had like little twinges of issues with it, um, but definitely week 31 is when I woke up one morning and I was like, oh my gosh, and I could barely move. It was so intense. Babies always felt really low. I don't know if they're just scooching down and that's what's going on. And you know, I know they're head down. And so I think that they're literally just up against my Symphysis pubis and it's just causing a lot of discomfort right now um, and I keep saying too to myself I'm like this is my first pregnancy nothing's really like stretched out yet like I don't know maybe in subsequent pregnancies or whatever I'll have an easier time and I won't have this intense pain so so we'll see um, but right now I'm just kind of taking it day by day the day that I woke up with that pain is also a day I had a chiropractor appointment and my husband went with me and I said, everything's been doing great, but I just woke up with this terrible pain, like what can we do? And he gave me some stretches and they were uncomfortable because I was uncomfortable. Um, and I've tried them out, but there hasn't really been any like significant change. The only thing that really helps, again, is going to my Aqua Zumba class. Sometimes when I'm doing certain movements, like there's one where you're like bringing your leg over, um, you know, like making this movement with your leg, I don't know, like twirling your leg in your, Hip. I don't know how to explain it. I'm not a dancer. I just go to my Aqua Zumba class and um, Sometimes doing those movements really hurt, but everything else feels really good in the water So I've just been keeping up with that and making sure that I am Going to my aqua classes and those definitely have been helping <laughs> The other thing if you guys haven't noticed is we're in the daylight right now Which is amazing and I haven't been working as much as I mentioned before I went down four nights a week and so I have been able to get up a little bit earlier on some days. So on those days, I'm trying to make videos for you guys. So the lighting's a little bit less crazy. <laughs> so so anyway, so that's what we're doing right now. Um, yeah, oh, and you like my new elephant shirt? I actually just got this recently. And I love that it buttoned down, so I figured it'd be handy for nursing. Cause I'm like beyond the point now of like buying maternity clothes, cause I have enough of them. And I'm kind of now in the zone of like, Okay, what's gonna work for nursing? Because <laughs> I'm hoping, really, really hoping to be breastfeeding. So I'm kind of like in that mentality now of like, all right, what's gonna work for me? Um, <clears throat> so that's always fun. Like I said, the symphysis pubis pain has been difficult, but definitely still working on it with my getting in the pool helps a lot. And I'm um, still having the tailbone pain, but it's not as bad. Um, and then as of week 32, the symphysis pubis pain is kind of like calmed down. Some days it's terrible, some days it's fine, it just kind of depends. I haven't noticed any days or any like if I work a lot or I'm moving a lot, if that impacts it, I haven't noticed an impact in that at all. Um, so there's not like one thing I can say for sure helps or does not help at this point. I think it's just kind of random. Sometimes I wake up and it's really uncomfortable and other times I wake up and I feel fine. So, so we will just have to see. But anyways, I'm just happy to be cruising along, baby's still kicking like crazy. Um, actually this week they started getting hiccups, but definitely baby has been starting to get the hiccups, which is just so sweet and so cute, and I'm loving every minute of it. Uh, I've also swore I've seen them practice breathe, which is just mind-blowing to me. I was laying in the bathtub and I could see my belly making this rhythmic movement, and I could feel the movement too. And at first I thought it was hiccups, and then I'm like, those are way too fast for hiccups and so I realized it was actually the baby's chest because like the baby, so my placenta's in the back 
It's called the posterior placenta. It's totally fine, totally normal. But what's cool about it is it pushes baby right up against my skin. <laughs> so anything that's going on, I can feel really easily. I can see really easily. Other people across the room can see it. Like I had hiccups, um, or a baby had hiccups one night and literally I was wearing like a tight shirt and literally like my brother across the room could see the hiccups so it was really funny but anyway so that's been really really cool I can't believe the baby's development at this point is just amazing um, as you can see I have a bunch of books behind me or I don't know if what you can see in the background or not whatever we're still working on the nursery it is like a constant work in progress I feel like we get most of it done and then like something else gets put it like we get some other beautiful thing in the mail or we get something out of storage from my brother and it's like and then the room just explodes <laughs> so I don't know if you guys have experienced that at this point um, but I'm pretty much done I told myself my goal was to be done by my third trimester which I pretty much was done it's just like I said these little things that keep coming out of the woodwork that I'm like oh we gotta do this or we're getting baby presents in the mail so I gotta get through it and like do laundry and all of that and organize like where certain things are gonna go. It's so amazing, um, but yeah. So that's all that's been going on right now. And um, that's it for now, guys. I will bump date you guys uh, soon. I know I will be getting my pump in soon, so I'm really excited about that. And I will definitely do an unboxing video of me getting my breast pump when that happens. But other than that, guys, that's it for now. And if you like, subscribe, bye.